The History of Werewolves in Europe. Part 1. The werewolf, or lycanthrope, holds its roots in the folklore and mythology of ancient cultures. One of the earliest known stories involving a transformation into a wolf comes from the Greek myth of King Lycane of Arcadia. According to Ovid's Metamorphoses, Lycane was transformed into a wolf by Zeus as punishment for serving him the flesh of his own son. This tale, coupled with others like it, laid the foundation for the werewolf Mythos, where moral failings, punishment, and the transformation into a beastly form are intertwined. Roman literature, too, carried forward the theme of transformation, notably in the tale of the Roman consul, Publius. As recorded by Petronius in Satyricon, Publius was a shapeshifter who transformed into a wolf at will. Unlike the punitive transformation of Lycane, Publius' transformation was voluntary and under control, introducing a new facet to the werewolf narrative. The Norse sagas also contributed to the evolution of the werewolf myth. The concept of berserkers, warriors who were said to transform into animals to enhance their ferocity in battle, notably bears and wolves, was prevalent in Norse mythology. While not werewolves in the traditional sense, the berserkers' transformation demonstrates a cultural interplay between man and wolf that would later become a staple in the werewolf legend. Let us now travel across Europe and explore the regions where its legend took hold. Hungary. Werewolves and Witch Trials. Hungary, steeped in rich folklore and historical events, has a captivating tale to tell about werewolves and witch trials. These tales, steeped in tradition and superstition, often blend and merge creating a unique and enthralling story that has been passed down through the ages. Werewolves, or humans with the ability to transform into wolves, have an intriguing presence in Hungarian folklore, especially in the region of Transdanubia. Legend held that the ability to shapeshift was obtained in infancy, usually due to parental abuse or a curse. At the tender age of seven, the cursed child would leave the house, hunt at night, and acquire the ability to change between human and wolf forms at will. An alternative path to the curse involved an adult passing three times through an arch made of birch with the assistance of a wild rose's spine. The transformation was usually associated with certain times such as the winter solstice, Easter, and the full moon. The werewolves were known to prey on farm animals, especially sheep and were often tried alongside witches during the 17th and 18th centuries, which suggests a close association between the two in the public consciousness. An intriguing tale from 1881 recounts the story of a fiddler named Cropan, who discovered that his wife was a werewolf. Every night, she transformed into a wolf and hunted for food, initially solving their problems of poverty. However, her greed led to the decimation of livestock in neighboring villages and, eventually, their own village. After she killed the town priest's pet lamb, the priest cast holy water on her, causing her intense pain and forcing her to flee. The villagers killed Cropan, and his wife was never seen again. This tale highlights the interplay of fear, misunderstanding and suspicion that often characterized the relationship between humans and supposed werewolves. Parallel to the werewolf stories, the history of witch trials in Hungary is another fascinating chapter. Magic was banned by King Stefan I in the 11th century when Hungary became a Christian country, but prosecution only occurred if the magic was used to cause death. Witch trials intensified in the late 16th century and were most rampant between 1690 and 1750. A total of 1,644 people, 1,482 women and 162 men, are documented to have been put on trial for sorcery in Hungary from 1520 to 1780, but the actual number is believed to be higher. The most famous case perhaps was the surged witch trials of 1728, in which 13 people were burned at the stake. The stories of werewolves and witch trials in Hungary serve as potent reminders of a time steeped in superstition and fear, 
where belief in the supernatural was a part of everyday life. These tales, passed down through the generations, continue to captivate audiences with their unique blend of folklore and history, providing a fascinating insight into Hungary's mystical past. Romania Unveiling the Lupine Shadows From the craggy peaks of the Carpathians to the dark, dense forests of Transylvania, Romania, the land of legend and mystery, has long been fertile ground for tales of the supernatural. Among these, the myth of the werewolf, the lycanthrope, stands out, a chilling but fascinating fusion of man and beast. To understand this enduring legend, we must embark on a journey through history, mythology, folklore, and popular culture, unearthing the roots and evolution of Romania's werewolf lore. The tales of werewolves in Romania have ancient origins, intertwined with the beliefs and customs of the Dacians, the country's earliest known inhabitants. The Dacians worshipped a wolf god named Zalmoxis, who was said to grant immortality to chosen warriors by transforming them into wolves. These Dacian wolfmen were seen as fearless protectors and spiritual leaders, a stark contrast to the monstrous image of werewolves in later centuries. During the Middle Ages, the perception of werewolves underwent a dramatic shift. Influenced by Christian beliefs and superstitions, werewolves were no longer revered but feared. They were associated with the devil and thought to be the result of a curse or an unholy pact. In Romanian folklore, there are numerous tales from this period about people transforming into wolves during full moons, often as a punishment for wicked deeds. The Romanian term for werewolf, vercalac, was also used to describe a demonic creature that devoured the sun and moon, causing eclipses. The fearful nature of these stories reflects the anxieties of a time when life was precarious, and the inexplicable was often attributed to malevolent forces. In modern times, the image of the Romanian werewolf has been significantly shaped by literature and media. Irish author Bram Stoker's 1897 novel, Dracula, though primarily about vampires, includes a memorable scene of a pack of wolves obeying the titular vampire, a nod to the old Romanian lore of the Vercalac. The 20th and 21st centuries have seen the Romanian werewolf myth permeate global popular culture. Movies, television shows, and novels have often portrayed these creatures as tragic figures, cursed to transform and lose their humanity. The 2004 film, Van Helsing, for example, features a heroic character who becomes a werewolf and battles against Count Dracula in the heart of Transylvania. Today, the werewolf is firmly entrenched in the Romanian cultural imagination. Annual werewolf-themed events and festivals are held, particularly in Transylvania, attracting tourists and locals alike. These modern manifestations of werewolf lore, while often drawing on the country's rich history and folklore, also reflects contemporary attitudes towards environmentalism, identity, and the mysterious boundary between the human and the animal. In conclusion, the history of werewolves in Romania is a captivating tale of transformation, not just of man into beast, but of cultural perceptions and beliefs. From ancient warriors to medieval monsters, and from literary metaphors to symbols of modern anxieties, Romanian werewolves have journeyed far and wide. They continue to prowl not just the shadowy forests of folklore, but also the labyrinthine corridors of our collective imagination, reminding us of our primal fears, our fascination with the unknown, and our enduring need for stories that enchant and terrify. The Balkans. The Beast Within. The Balkan Peninsula, a region steeped in us and wrapped in bacon, scratch that, a region steeped in ancient traditions and rich folklore, has long harbored tales of the supernatural. Among these, one creature stands out in its dual nature, power, and intricacy, the werewolf, known locally as the Vakolak. The genesis of the Balkan werewolf is deeply embedded within Slavic traditions, believed to have been influenced by Scandinavian folklore. 
A notable illustration of this connection comes from the 11th century narrative, The Tale of Igor's Campaign, recounting the life of the Belarusian Prince Vislav of Polotsk. The prince was not just a ruler by day, by night, he prowled as a werewolf, a testament to his superhuman abilities and dual nature. This narrative serves as an enduring insight into the complex depiction of the werewolf in Balkan folklore, a creature that was as much a symbol of power as it was a source of terror. As time progressed into the early modern period, the dual form of werewolf folklore branched into two main categories, the Germanic werewolf, which was tied to the witchcraft panic, and the Slavic werewolf or Vakolak, which became associated with the concept of the revenant or vampire. This distinction is crucial to understanding the duality of werewolves in the region, underscoring their multifaceted role in folk culture. A particularly fascinating aspect of the werewolf in the Balkans is its association with vampirism. This blend of the werewolf-vampire figure is a distinct feature in the folklore of Central and Eastern Europe, including Hungary, Romania, and the Balkans. This eastern werewolf vampire starkly contrasts with the western werewolf sorcerer found in France, German-speaking Europe, and the Baltic, further emphasizing the unique cultural perspectives on supernatural entities in the region. In conclusion, the werewolf in Balkan folklore is a complex creature that represents much more than mere horror. It stands as a symbol of power, the supernatural, and the unknown, reflecting a rich mosaic of regional folklore that offers a unique insight into the cultural history of the Balkans. The werewolf, with its dual nature and intertwined destiny with other supernatural beings, encapsulates the mystique and allure of Balkan mythology, a testament to the region's diverse influences and unique interpretations of the supernatural. France. The Howling Past. In the midst of the darkness of French folklore, werewolves, or loups-garous, cast an ominous and captivating shadow. These mythical creatures, half-human and half-wolf, have been a staple of French legends for centuries. They have been perceived as both evil monsters and misunderstood outcasts, and their stories have significantly influenced the country's cultural and historical landscape. The notion of the werewolf is deeply rooted in the folklore of medieval France. The earliest known French reference to a werewolf is found in the work of Marie de France, a 12th century poet. In her line, Bisclaverit, she describes a nobleman who transforms into a wolf for three days each week. This tale, with its nuanced portrayal of the werewolf, sets a precedent for future werewolf narratives in French literature. It's worth noting that during the Middle Ages, belief in the existence of werewolves was widespread in France. The term, loup-garou, itself is derived from Old French words with, loup, meaning wolf, and, garoule, meaning werewolf. This belief was reinforced by the church, which often linked werewolves with the devil and witchcraft. The 16th century marked a dark period in the history of French werewolves. Influenced by the prevailing fear and superstition, France witnessed a series of werewolf trials, akin to the infamous witch trials of the same era. One of the most famous of these is the case of Gilles Garnier, the werewolf of Dole, who was convicted and burned at the stake for allegedly transforming into a wolf and devouring children. These trials often reflected the social anxieties of the time, including fears of the wild, the unknown and deviations from social norms. It was during this period that the image of the werewolf transformed from a misunderstood creature to a symbol of absolute evil in French folklore. The 19th century brought about a change in the perception of werewolves in France. Inspired by the Romantic movement, French writers and artists started to portray werewolves in a more sympathetic light. Works like Prosper Meremy's Loki's, a manuscript of Professor Wittenbach, painted werewolves as tragic figures, caught between their human and animal nature. This shift in perspective represented a broader societal change, where fear of the unknown was replaced by fascination and empathy. In modern times, the werewolf has firmly established its place in French popular culture. 
In literature, cinema, and video games, the image of the werewolf continues to evolve, often reflecting contemporary societal issues. For example, in films like Brotherhood of the Wolf, the werewolf is used as a metaphor to explore themes of identity, otherness, and societal conflict. From the earliest tales of the Middle Ages to the complex portrayals in modern pop culture, the werewolf has had a profound influence on French culture and history. It serves as a mirror reflecting societal fears, beliefs, and changes over time. Through understanding the history of the werewolf in France, we gain a deeper insight into the country's rich cultural evolution. Today, the werewolf continues to howl in the heart of French folklore. The Baltic Werewolves in the Baltic region Werewolves, as supernatural creatures that transform from human to wolf, are entrenched in the folklore of many cultures worldwide. The Baltic region, consisting of the countries Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia, are no exception. Here, werewolves hold a significant place in mythology, shaping cultural narratives throughout history. From ancient beliefs to present-day representations, the werewolf mythology in the Baltic region is a fascinating blend of superstition, folklore, religious influence, and societal norms. The werewolf myth in the Baltic region dates back to pre-Christian times, originating in the ancient pagan beliefs of the region's indigenous peoples. Baltic tribes worshipped a plethora of deities, often tied to natural elements. Animals, particularly the wolf, were sacred, representing strength and survival. The transformation of humans into wolves was considered a gift or a curse from the gods, depending on the context. The werewolf, or Vilkolakis in Lithuanian and Vilkartis in Latvian, was perceived as a symbol of chaos, reflecting the unpredictable and often destructive power of nature. With the Christianization of the Baltic region during the Northern Crusades in the 13th century, the perception of werewolves changed dramatically. The church sought to replace pagan beliefs with Christian doctrine, which reframed werewolves as evil creatures. They were associated with the devil and accused of practicing witchcraft, leading to the vilification and persecution of supposed werewolves during the witch trials in the early modern period, which was between the 15th and 17th centuries. The werewolf hysteria was particularly intense in Livonia, present-day Latvia and southern Estonia, leading to many tragic deaths. Despite the Christian Church's influence, the myth of the werewolf persisted in Baltic folklore, perpetuated through oral tradition. Werewolves remained prevalent in folk tales, embodying moral and cautionary tales about human nature and societal norms. Werewolves were often depicted as individuals punished for their sins or transgressions, such as greed, gluttony, or pride, thus serving as a deterrent for immoral behavior. In Estonia, the werewolf figure, Liberhunt, was sometimes seen as a protector, highlighting the nuanced depiction of the creature in different Baltic contexts. The popular Latvian folktale of the Werewolf of Labdigen tells the tragic story of a man cursed to turn into a werewolf for his wicked deeds, illuminating both the moral and supernatural aspects of the werewolf myth. In contemporary times, werewolves have transitioned from creatures of folklore to popular figures in books, movies, and television series. The Baltic region Ha also embraced this trend, incorporating traditional werewolf legends into modern narratives. Today, the werewolf serves as a metaphor for the human struggle with our primal instincts and the dichotomy between civilization and nature. In academic circles, the werewolf's history in the Baltic region has been studied from a socio-cultural perspective. Historians and anthropologists explore how werewolf myths reflect societal fears and norms, whereas psychologists analyze them as symbolic representations of human behavior and instincts. The werewolf myth in the Baltic region offers a fascinating insight into the interplay between folklore, religion, and societal changes over centuries. From revered creatures in pagan times to feared figures associated with evil in Christian periods, to moral symbols in folktales, 
And finally, popular characters in contemporary media, werewolves have remained a consistent part of Baltic culture. Through these shifting depictions, we can trace the region's cultural evolution, reflecting the broader societal transitions and human anxieties. Thus, the history of werewolves in the Baltic region is more than a tale of supernatural creatures, it is a mirror of the human condition, reflecting our beliefs, fears, and norms throughout history. Germany Hiding in the Moonlit Shadows As we've learned, the concept of the werewolf has been a staple of myth, folklore, and fantasy across many cultures. In Germany, tales of these creatures date back to medieval times, influenced by a deep wellspring of folklore and superstition, with remnants of this history seen in popular culture today. The werewolf, or werewolf in German, is traditionally depicted as a human who transforms into a wolf or wolf-like creature during a full moon often driven to commit acts of violence. The history of werewolves in Germany is shrouded in the mists of pagan times. Germanic tribes like the Vandals, Lombards, and Saxons, prior to their conversion to Christianity, held wolves in high esteem. These tribes had animalistic deities and spiritual rituals, and some believed in the concept of human-animal transformation. It was customary for warriors to wear wolf skins into battle, symbolizing the transference of the wolf's ferocity and strength to the wearer. Some argue this practice was the rudimental inception of the werewolf myth in Germany. As Christianity spread across Europe in the early Middle Ages, the church sought to eradicate pagan beliefs. Wolves, previously revered, became symbols of evil and malevolence, associated with Satan and sin. This shift in perception contributed significantly to the emergence of werewolf lore. The connection between wolves and witchcraft began to evolve, as individuals accused of lycanthropy, the condition of being a werewolf, were often accused of witchcraft as well. The 15th century saw werewolf hysteria reach its peak in Germany. The famous case of Peter Stump, also known as the Werewolf of Bedburg, is a prime example. Stump, accused of witchcraft and lycanthropy, confessed under torture to having made a pact with the devil and committing a series of gruesome murders in wolf form. His execution in 1589 was highly publicized, spreading fear and superstition about werewolves throughout Europe. It is from such cases that many classic werewolf myths, such as vulnerability to silver, arose, as Stump was executed with a silver blade. As the Enlightenment dawned in the 18th century, belief in werewolves, witches, and supernatural beings began to wane. Scientists and philosophers challenged the existence of these creatures, attributing the tales to psychological conditions like rabies or hypotrichosis. The infamous Beast of Gavordan, a man-eating creature alleged to be a werewolf that terrorized the French countryside, was ultimately rationalized as a particularly aggressive wolf. Yet, the allure of the werewolf myth persisted. The 19th century romantic period saw a resurgence of interest in folklore and the supernatural. The werewolf became a prominent figure in Gothic literature, with tales like Der Werewolf by Hermann Lones, presenting a sympathetic portrayal of the creature, reflecting the societal struggles of the time. Today, the werewolf continues to hold a prominent place in German, and indeed global, popular culture. From film adaptions to role-playing games like Werewolves of Miller's Hollow, the werewolf is a cultural icon of horror and fantasy genres. Despite the considerable evolution from pagan ritual to pop culture symbol, the werewolf myth remains grounded in our collective unconscious, a testament to humanity's fascination with the unknown, the mystical, and the transformational power of the beast within us all. The werewolf of Germany has journeyed from a symbol of tribal strength, through a feared manifestation of evil, to a nuanced character in literature and pop culture. Throughout its evolution, the werewolf has continued to captivate, thrill, and terrify, embodying humanity's deepest fears and desires. As long as the moon continues to rise, the legend of the werewolf will persist in the cultural consciousness, 
howling in the face of reason, rationality, and reality.